computer. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome to another one of these videos that I'm doing where we are focusing on the history of everyday stuff that all of us use or most of us use but don't nothing about. Have you ever wondered? Who thought of that? Why is this thing I'm using exist? Well, here, my friend, you will get all your answers because I'm a curious cat as well. <laughs> Today's video is one that I have to be very careful about. <laughs> the history of cigarettes. I wore my greyest of makeup that I could possibly do. So yeah, the theme today is smoke. <laughs> so let's get right into it. The origin of tobacco is in America. We gave these guys coffee, glasses, curling irons for crying out loud and they gave us tobacco you will see why they gave us that but no that's not beneficial for anybody let me not get ahead of myself tobacco also known as nicotiana tobacco such a fancy name i love it i could be nicotiana it was used way 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 back at six thousand BC but Native Americans were using tobacco for medical purposes and religious purposes mostly they were using the fresh leaves not the dried ones they firstly chewed it and stuff like that but after a little while they figured out how to smoke it why I have someone to blame now <laughs> then Columbus arrived to the Americas and the natives were so happy to see other people and they gifted him some tobacco and then he did all the horrible things that he did okay let's not get into that i will get mad and oh, marine flu in 1531 tobacco was cultivated for the first time in europe and by 1600s tobacco use has spread across europe we all know that they are called cigarettes but the first first name was papelate <laughs> or payplate i don't know 1830 cigarettes had crossed into france where it received its name cigarette and i always wondered why they are writing it with two t's here's my answer french of course french after that it gained instant popularity in europe people believed that tobacco had magical powers and it could heal you for many things because that's why Native Americans gifted the tobacco to Cologne. They made it so essential to everybody that soon tobacco was promoted as a viable way to get your daily dose of tobacco. It's like one apple a day keeps the doctor away. By, by the early 17th century, many scientists and philosophers figured out that Tobacco and smoking it is not that beneficial to you. It leads to lung problems, addiction. So they try to warn people and say stuff about people always being people. By the 17th century, we knew about that stuff. And still, there are more than 1 billion smokers out there. What are we doing to our lives? <laughs> Many countries banned cigarettes and smoking cigarettes from time to time making it super illegal jail time like that we, they didn't even care smoking was taking over the world the most popularity that it got it was throughout the world war one and two because the biggest companies were giving millions of packets to the soldiers at the front line creating hundreds of thousands of faithful and addicted consumers smart marketing i guess that made me question who were these companies and what was the first company ever producing cigarettes. Laurie Lard, he's a French guy, oldest tobacco manufacturer, originally made pipe tobacco, cigars and chewing tobacco. In 1860, so almost um, a century later, roll your own cigarettes became 
very 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 popular it wasn't until 1920 that companies begin to advertise cigarettes to women i remember seeing in old films or old photos classy women very very classy women holding this their cigarettes with the filters cabaret style when you look at those photos smoking seems so much sophisticated why <laughs> In the 20s, the first brand that heavily advertised to women was Craven A, which is ironic considering the fact that one of my first tobacco or rolling cigarettes was Craven. So I'm a lady. <laughs> At the 50s, many, many brands were heavily advertised on TV. It was being glamorized. I have a distinct memory of a billboard-like advertisement, let's say, in a city near my town, of a very hot guy with perfect smile, perfect teeth, might I add, holding a cigarette. It was for a brand, I don't remember the brand. It was until recently that they could advertise cigarettes so much. In my generation, most of us, I think, grew up with smoking parts. <laughs> with parents that were smoking. So we correlated adulthood with smoking. And due to the urge that children have to grow up and become adults, so bad of a mistake. The first thing that many teenagers do so that they can emulate adulthood is smoking. And that's why most smokers begin smoking at adolescence or early adulthood. I will share it now. I tried my first cigarette at 13. 13! Oh, my poor parents. My poor parents. I would smack my kid's hand like... No, we're not supporting any kind of violence on this channel. And if my parents were to do that, smack my hands, guess what I would do? I would still smoke. And maybe more. You can never win with teenagers. I'm talking from experience. My poor mother had to go through it. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. Such bad, 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 bad decision. Oh, if you ask a smoker in this day and age why they're still doing it, the answers they have the same bottom line. Either I'm too addicted to it, I take a pleasure from smoking, it relieves my anxiety, I'm feel more relaxed. Bullshit. Many people believe that it relaxes them, but truly what it does, the first times that you smoke, the dopamine levels rise and you feel a sense of uh, euphoria, let's say. But the feeling, <laughs> the, the actual feeling, you get so numb, you, you cannot, it's so dumb. But then nicotine suppresses these emotions so much that you need more. That's how an addiction works. So essentially, we're making ourselves not feel anything. If that's your goal, okay, go for it. Tobacco and tobacco products are heavily regulated today. Companies have lost thousands of lawsuits and are now forced to declare the repercussions of smoking on their packaging. This change was implemented in the 90s, but I don't remember reading something like that on my parents' packets. Maybe I was either too young to read or the lettering was too small to read. I know now they, that they have it. Now they have pictures with the worst case scenario. I remember people being so appalled by it and disgusted and talking heavily about it. But then after a little while they got used to it and now everything is back to normal. In the recent years, I think from uh, 2018 and on, or 16 and on, in most countries in Europe, I don't know in America if it's the same, they implemented the one color rule. Every packet of every brand has the same color, an olive green color, which I find very sophisticated. What is wrong with me? I don't know, but it's so beautiful. It's so classy. They used this rule because they uh, figured out that if every pack looks the same, Fewer people will buy cigarettes. I don't think so. Younger generations now have vaping and more and more people turn to vaping. Vaping is better than cigarettes. Bitch, there is still nicotine in, in it. Don't feel that special. I don't know why, why is that. Maybe due to the fact that it's um, smoking has been used so heavily 
as a status maybe that's why we think the movement is so cool i find it cool every time i see someone smoke i always find it cool that's a problem of mine that i should resolve somehow someday i don't know the only thing that i do know and i've read about it everywhere is that still tobacco companies make billions of dollars per year still but on an even darker note <laughs> they say that the damage caused by smoking numbers in trillions of dollars of health expenses and environmental damages and with that i will leave you with your thoughts <laughs> If you want to express them, feel free in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you and your opinion about how much we have glamorized smoking and still cannot get away from it. Thank you for watching today's video. Sorry, if it didn't make your day. <laughs> What? Yeah, if you want to know more about other everyday stuff that we use, click here. I got you, baby. Ring the bell for next week's episode. You don't want to miss it.